this video i'm going to show you how to import a record into your dataverse table now import action basically imports the data into your dataverse table provided you have already created table uh, way ahead of time and you just have a set of uh, records and you just need to import that record into your dataverse table now there are multiple ways to import record now one of the option is to using the import data functionality which uses data flow there is an another functionality called as import data from excel which uses the traditional import process like uh, the export process the export process uses the same mechanism uh, so uh, i'm going to demonstrate both of this uh, functionality uh, and the third uh, option is basically using a data flow now that's a preferred option now the first option import data using data flow uh, again and the using data flows both are same uh, but it's just that you need to go into different place to do your data import importing data from excel now the <clears throat> option which you see over here when you navigate to make.powerapps.com and if you go into uh, say specific uh, screen over here then you can click on import data from excel and then you can select the entity and then uh, you can import the record into that specific table uh, the problem which i have encountered with this approach is that it was not able to upload the record successfully now why it happened is because i think so because this is like kind of an old method of importing the data and it requires all the column parity whatever column is available within your uh, Excel should match with what is available within the dataverse. Now, uh, quite possible uh, that uh, you may have an Excel document which will not match uh, uh, the all the columns what is available within your dataverse. And if you want a uh, like a foolproof approach to do an import, then you need to use uh, make use of data flows. Now, if you select import data uh, using the uh, the first option, which is shown over here then it makes use of power query to import your data now power query is again uh, <clears throat> being used on multiple technologies like it is used in power bi as well so uh, once you select the data source of excel workbook then uh, it will ask you to name the data flow and then from that point onwards here you will be able to uh, specify uh, the connection uh, and then it will ask you to uh, modify the data model if required and then once everything is done then you can load into a new table or load into an existing table and your data flow process will start running and once it is done your uh, import will be successful if uh, all the columns uh, data matches uh, all the column schema basically matches to the uh, the target uh, table now just to show you in action uh, what i've done is i have created <clears throat> one simple application called as basketball sports okay now just to show you what it contains so if i go into the tables and if i go into custom uh, i have created one table which is a very simple table it is called as basketball sports and on basis of this table i've created a an app okay from here create an app functionality now it has two record jack ran and john cena okay now i want to import some records into this table so what are my options now before you import you need to have a table which has uh, all this records right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, create an excel file with the record okay so i'll click a blank excel book and then here i'll just put the column name as name and then i'll call shaki and Lebron and maybe myself okay so i'll just add this three record now remember you need to put it in a data table format so i'll just do control t my table as header and now this is in the form of a table okay so this is three record with a table in excel table so if you go into the table design here you can name your table i'll call this as basket south okay so this is just the table name okay and i'll save this record so maybe i'll just save this record uh, into my say desktop okay and i call this as basket north And I'll save this 
excel okay so this is this excel i want to import now what i'm going to do i will be first trying out the other option called as import data from excel just to show you what is the problem with that approach so if i click on import data from excel it will start loading the older way of importing a record okay here it says file not uploaded so i'll click on upload and i'll select uh the file the file in my desktop is uh, just now we have said called as basket north and it says file is in use so i need to close the file i'll just close the file and i'll select this file again and it will start uploading the file now it says the file could not be uploaded uh, and it will give you this error now why this error uh, is occurring because uh, it is not matching the schema of the target and the source destination uh, source and the target destination uh, items now i would rather not go with this approach and i would expect you to use the import data functionality so don't go for import data from excel okay so import data is the best option now if you click on import data then it will load a power query way of importing the record so you need to select what data source you if the file is in i'll select excel workbook i'll say upload the file and then i'll upload the file basket north now i need to create a new connection uh, if you are not signed in i've already signed in so in case if you're not signed in it will ask you to uh, again authenticate once you are once it is done click on next and it will show you your file is uploaded successfully now what happens is uh, here it will show you all the tables within your excel workbook so i have named my table as basket south and that's why i'm able to see this i'll select this particular table within my excel uh, workbook and i get i get this three record right so i'll click on next and uh, i can even do some uh, data manipulation over here uh, but i do not want to touch the data i'll just click on next once you do that a query uh, will be formed now i'll say let's not load this to a new table let's load it to an existing table and i'll select the destination table now remember the destination table is a custom table and that's why uh, it will not show you alphabetically it will uh, so in my table name is basketball sports now you here you will not find in b make sure that you go into the correct uh, logical name uh, for your table and this is the name so it's cr1bf underscore basketball sports okay now here uh, destination column is name okay what is the source column now you can either pick and choose from here or you can just select auto map and then if the name of your column slightly or it is same to what the destination column is then it will automatically select so i'll just select auto map and it has selected name uh, once it is done click on next and then it will ask for refresh setting i'll just select refresh manually and then i'll click on publish now what it does in the back end it will create a data flow job and then once that data flow job is published and uh, it will start the import process after validation and once it is validated then you should be able to see uh, more records over here uh, so i can refresh in my model driven app or in make.power apps interface so let me refresh this so it might take like a minute or two because in my case there are very few records there are th just three record uh, so the entire process usually take around uh, a minute or so okay so i'll keep on refreshing this just to see whether the record has been updated successfully or the record has been imported successfully into my dataverse table or not still not And you can also refresh this uh, the backend table as well you know the backend table make.powerhouse.com interface and you can do this refresh yes now i refresh this and i can see that this three records has been just now been added okay so uh, as you see over here this three record lebron shaquille o'neal and my name is there in this table so that means the import is successful now there is an another way through which you can do uh, now what we have done is we have done an import by going into the table and then using the import process right so what it does in the back end is if you navigate to make.powerapps.com interface then on the left menu you'll find something called as data flows now here you can actually create a data flow okay now if you see closely over here 
this is the data flow which was recently executed right 3 11 pm right so this is the data flow which you got uh, just got uh, executed now if you create a new data flow from here so let's take for example i want to further uh, uh, import say basket south data okay i'll click on create and then again it will give you that same interface right same upload file go here and select whatever file you want now let's assume this is basket south for time being i'll just put in basket south and i'll select this file and then it will take you to the same experience right so you have multiple option to do that import process right so one we can go into make.powerapps interface go through the data flows or go into a make.powerapps.com interface and go to the table and then do an import so it's one and the same thing it will ask you for the table it will ask you for the destination it will ask you for the selection columns and then it will successfully import the record so that's it folks this is how you basically import a record into a dataverse table using the data flows approach thanks for watching